everyone, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems, and in today's video on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs, we're going to be discussing how to edit the address book of the copier using the touch screen panel of your Kyocera Task Alpha. Now, the panel that I'll be using in question is from the two series machine. Your machine might be a zero series, a one series, a two, or a three series. Regardless, the steps remain the same. So, in order to get started, I'll access the system menu. Once here, I will tab down to the second page. Well, the button that I am looking for is called Edit Destination. Once I've hit this, I then have an option to add or edit the address book, which I'll select. Now, in here, I can either add or I can highlight someone and delete them. In this video, we'll be adding someone. So, I'll click Add. I'm adding a contact, not a group, though you can certainly add a group. In this video specifically, we'll be demonstrating how to add a scanned email address. So, once I've hit Next, the first thing I have to do is I have to, put, I have to input the name of the person whose email we will be entering. So, I'll do that now. Once you've entered the name, select OK. Now, before we can hit Save down here, we have to enter their email. So I will do so now. I'll hit change and then I will input their email. Once I've done so, I will select save. Now, if I want to, I can add a one touch key that corresponds to this address, which is the uh, one touch or the quick access keys located on the send interface of your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. I will choose to do that in this example, though I could have certainly hit no. I'll select next here, hit next to confirm my address destination, and then I will select save. Once I have done so, my new email address should now be in the address book. So if I close all the way out or just press the home button here and I go back into the send, uh, we can see the email address I entered here as well as in the one touch key area. And now I can scan to this destination. In today's video, we learned how to input email addresses from the touch screen interface of the copier. In another video in this series, we'll be detailing how to input email address destinations from the web user interface of your copier. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. I wanna thank you all for joining me and have a great day. Thank you.